How to prepare for a boudoir photography session. As photographers, we have to prepare for all of our photo shoots, but we also have to help our clients prepare for the photo shoot. So watch till the end to get my four biggest tips to avoid disaster and create an incredible experience for your clients. It's showtime. Hello, I am Mike Lloyd. I run a multi six figure boudoir studio in Silicon Valley, California. I've been in the game 11 years and I've been teaching photographers all over the world how to build profitable photography businesses for nine years. It's been a while. It's been a crazy wild ride and I'm so stoked to be here and I'm excited to share this with you. So I'm gonna go over four things today. My four biggest tips to help you prepare and to help your clients prepare for the shoot. The first one, checklists. Checklists are your best friend. Number two, reminder emails. Number three, a preparation guide. And number four, sleep, food, and water. <laughs> Seriously. The number one thing on my list in no particular order because they're all really important is equipment checklists. I have a list right now of all the things I'm gonna talk about today. It's really important so you don't forget things at your shoot because when you've done it enough times, you get complacent. I find him fascinating. And you think, oh, I got everything I need. I've done this a million times. I know what I'm doing. And then you show up with no batteries because they're all on chargers because you thought the night before, I'm going to charge all my batteries so I know I've got plenty of power. And then you forget to actually put them in your bag. It's happened to me. It's happened to most photographers. We forget a memory card. Or I did executive headshots at a company a few years ago. Forgot my camera. I got there like 45 minutes early. Got all my lights and backdrops set up. I was ready to go. Went to take a test shot and I didn't have my camera. I had to drive back across town. Go back to the office. I ended up being like a half hour late to start the shoot. Which is not how I want to represent myself as a professional. You bunch of losers! Given this was like the fifth time this company has hired me, they knew that wasn't the norm. It's not the kind of service that I want to give. And if I would have just had a checklist, that problem wouldn't have happened. So now I go down the list of things. It's like, all right, I'm going to take a picture with my camera that needs a battery and a memory card. And I have my lenses to go on the camera. On top of that is a trigger that triggers my flash. The flash needs to go on a stand. The stand will hold the flash up where a speed ring mounts and a softbox clips into the speed ring. Also need to make sure the batteries are charged. So I go down my list of everything I'm gonna need. If it's on location headshots, I've got my laptop, I've got an extension cord, I've got my tether cable, whatever else I'm going to need, it's all on my checklist. And I do this before every single session. Because if I don't, I'm gonna leave the batteries on the charger here in the studio and I'm not gonna bring it with me to the shoot. We're gonna have some last. <laughs> So the more you do it, the more likely you are to forget things because we get complacent. So make a checklist and just take three seconds to look over it and make sure you've got everything before your shoots. You're never going to forget anything again. It's that simple. Number two, reminder emails. This one's huge and it's a non-negotiable for me. So my CRM, my client relationship management program, I programmed reminder emails because some of my clients are booking their shoots six months out and I've got it on my calendar but they maybe didn't write it down. Maybe they got the confirmation email while they were driving and they checked their email at a red light. By the time they got home, they forgot because life happens and it never ended up on the calendar. <laughs> Now you're sitting here in the studio on shoot day, three or six months later, and they're not here. And you're like, where are they? And you call them and they're like, I totally forgot. I don't even know what day it was. So I send out reminder emails and these are all automated. I don't have to do it but my CRM does it for me. And they go out two weeks, one week, and three days before their session. And it's like, hey, I'm so stoked that your shoot's coming up. I'm really excited to put together this experience for you. Here's some tips to help you prepare. So it's not just like a, hey, you're still coming, right? Sort of email. It kind of is, but we're not wording it like that. It's here's some more tips, some tricks to help you prepare so that you feel ready. If you have any questions, give me a call, I'm happy to help. Really, really important to send out those emails so your clients know. Because if they didn't write it on the calendar, it's a waste of your time if no one shows up on shoot day. Same thing with your reveals, your IPS sessions, anything else, reminder emails, and it's all automated so you don't have to worry about it. Really, really helpful. Number three is a preparation guide. And this is the thing, you're gonna start kind of small and you're gonna build over time. So don't worry about not having everything in there right away. Make something helpful, 
And as you learn new things, as you grow as a photographer, you will add them into your guide. Mine's like 25 pages long now. And it's everything from shoot timelines, what to expect, how to get ready for the hair and makeup process, moisturize your face the day of, don't put any makeup on, wash your hair the night before, don't put any product in, show up with dry hair, wear a loose flowy dress so you don't have jeans leaving lines on your skin that I'm going to have to Photoshop out later because you've got stripes all over you. Are you stoned or something? For example, those are some of the things that I include in my guide. What kind of outfits to, to bring to your photo shoot? How many outfits? What kind of things should you avoid? Where to go shopping if you want to get new stuff? All of this information, super helpful. And most of it is stuff you're going to tell every client anyway. And we discuss it on my website and in our consultation calls. They've already heard this info before, but now they're going to get it again in a really easy step-by-step -step prep guide. All of my clients get this when they book with me, and it saves so much time and stress because they know what they need to do to prepare. Now they know what to expect and they can refer to this thing. It's, it's such a big time saver and it makes for a better experience for your client. There are things in there I didn't know that I needed to say, like make sure you show up with dry hair. Cause I'm like, well, my stylist has a blow dryer, so what? But that adds time to the prep process and now my shoots are taking a little bit longer. Little things like that, right? You can put payment plan information in there. Really your entire process and everything that they could possibly need to know but just start with something, helpful tips to get ready for the session, and everyone gets this as part of their confirmation email when they book with you. Again, it's all automated. Everyone gets this guide. It's gonna save you a ton of time and your clients are gonna feel prepared. Number four, sleep, food, and water. I have this three times in my own prep guide. Make sure you get a good night's sleep before, before the shoot, drink plenty of water and eat something because hangry doesn't look good on anyone. And I literally have this three times in my guide. Two of the pages are back to back. It's like one page of this information and then you turn the page and it's the same thing, but in bold. And at the top, it's like, no, seriously, this is important. Sleep, food, water. Because if the client doesn't have energy, if they have bags under their eyes, if their skin is all pillow wrinkled, that's not gonna help the photos. If they look tired, it's not gonna help the photos. I've had clients who've shown up hungover to their shoots and they look it and then they don't like their photos because they look hungover. Like we're, we're only so good with a camera, hair and makeup, you know, but if somebody just looks tired, there's nothing we can do about that. So reminding them, do not go out partying the night before. Make sure you go to bed at a reasonable time eat something before your shoot. Cause also like blood sugar crash, people looking sleepy. We don't need any of that to happen during the session. And same with you. If I'm out super late at night and I'm not real sharp in the morning, I'm doing a disservice to my client. Cause I want to be ready to handle anything and have the energy to keep them going as well. Because usually they need the pick me up more than I do. I have my coffee. I make my breakfast. I start my morning shoot everything is good. But if I'm tired, if I didn't eat or anything. I don't perform as well as I need to. And that's not cool because my clients are paying me for this service and I want to give them something amazing. Exactly what I've been saying. So there you go. The four things to help you prepare and to help you prepare your client for your photo shoots. Equipment checklists so you don't forget anything. Even if you're in your own studio and you're not traveling with your gear, making sure that your cards are formatted, you've got batteries ready to go, everything is set have a checklist. Number two, reminder emails, because your clients probably don't write everything down. This way they're going to show up. Number three is a preparation guide. Things you're going to tell every client anyway, put them into a nice guide so they can easily prepare for their shoot. And number four, sleep, food, and water for both you and your client. So there you go. Now you're ready for a shoot. Your clients are ready for a shoot make some money, make some people happy. To get more into what kind of equipment you need, how to prepare your clients for a session, like step by step, all this stuff, I've got other videos for it, so be sure to check those out, and I'm stoked to see you in the next one.